Okay, y'all, so it is officially my birthday. I'm gonna try to find some exciting music where like there's clapping or something around me. And this video is gonna be a little different. It's gonna be a little more casual because if you're watching this, likely I am having a mimosa at the pool somewhere. <laughs> but I wanted to talk about some financial goals that I have as I embark on this new year. I consider every birthday a new year for me. And as you know, this channel is all about luxury living on a budget. It's about financial freedom. It's about making work optional and living your best life while, do it, while doing all of that. So I wanted to get a little personal and share some goals that I have in this next year um, that maybe you can support me with. So let's just jump into it. So number one is that I want to buy another rental property. So. If you watched my video a couple of months ago, I was under contract for a duplex and that did not work out. And if you wanna know why, I'll link that video in the description, but I never gave up. Um, I actually was very encouraged by all the feedback that I got from that video that I wanna be a little more transparent about what this journey has been like. I've actually been under contract for other properties and I haven't shared that with y'all. Because I don't know, it's kind of weird to share your failures, but I feel like that's what people connect with, you know? So I'm gonna bring you guys on that journey a little bit more over time. Um, but yeah, I wanna buy a rental property because, um, I mean, many reasons. Number one, there's plenty of tax advantages to owning rental properties. Two, passive income, and y'all know I'm looking to make work optional. And three is real estate is never going anywhere. It's always gonna be in style, it's always on trend, it's always in fashion. And people will always need a place to live. So for me, I'm just working the numbers on a lot of different things and just praying um, that God aligns me with the right place for me that fits my goals and doesn't stretch me because I'm not looking to be in debt for things that don't matter. And obviously homes matter, but I'm kind of thankful that the, the duplex didn't work out now that I'm on the other side. But in the moment, I was definitely crying and stuff. <laughs> so that's point one. Point two is that I wanna get a promotion on my job. I mean, I feel like I should have one already if I'm honest. But anyway, I feel like I earned, I've earned this promotion. Um, and with promotions come more money and obviously a new title. Um, so that's something that I am going to be focused on. Um, I already have my little professional development plan going and I have my little supportive crew that's helping me make sure that I'm ready for these conversations that I know I need to have. Um, but yeah, I feel like more money will allow me to, number one, see a trajectory in my career, which is very important to me, even though, let me not say that, it's important. Um, and then number two, it'll it'll, you know, allow me to make more money, which will allow me to invest more and get closer to my financial freedom goals. Um, so yeah, just, just keep me in your prayers for that. Allow them to say yes to when I promote this, this opportunity. <clears throat> Three is that I want to start making well, I actually already make money in my business, but it's not consistent. So I want to start making, I don't want to say what the number is. Should I say the number? I want to earn $500 consistently every month in my business. And I've promoted many things with you all. And I've been diving into what makes sense for you guys and not just what I think is important. I mean, I have ready to own, but I also know right now people ain't really buying and I don't like that. But anyway, people are interested in like making more money. So that's why the ebook I think is selling so much and that's linked in the description. It's about real estate investment trust. Um, my one-on-one -on -one sessions, I've had a few more of those, um, which I love and just, I wanna start speaking more. Um, I got this super cool opportunity to teach personal finance and passive income. Um, I'm still blessed. I'm so thankful that they reached out to me. Like I didn't even have to find them, but I don't want to have to wait for those opportunities either. Like I want to find a balance between going after them and knowing that they're going to come, continue to come to me. So that's another paid opportunity that's coming when that's ready and finalized. I'll share those opportunities with you guys, but like, I want to put myself out there more, you know, and know that like, I'm good as hell at this. 
you know i think i deal with my own imposter syndrome i get in my own way sometimes i become my own you know worst enemy and feel like am i good enough do i know enough and and thankfully i have good people around me and be like hell yeah i you are i know you and i still learn from your videos so like just being confident in the fact that like i can make this happen and this can be big this is already bigger than me but like letting my actions and my behaviors reflect that is something that i'm still doing some mindset work around like self-worth like outside of finance and, and and passive income and investments like that's where i spend a lot of my time is just reading and journaling and praying and just asking god to shift my mindset and to know that the things that i desire as long as they're in his will like he desires them for me and that nothing is too big nothing is too small you know and there's no shortage of anything that i desire so that's point three and i know they got a little deep but these again are the conversations that i have with the people in my life and that i have with myself um number four is that i want to join a fire community and fire stands for financial independence retire early so i already follow a few other people that have retired early and i'm like team them you know like I'm, I'm a big supporter you know and i'm always just following their journeys and i'm like i need to be a part of a community of people that desire that the way that i desire it, you know um because i don't feel like i have that even though my friends are about their business you know my family some of them are about their business um i'm, I'm very specific with the people that i keep around me but they aren't thinking about retirement the way that I am. And I don't take that away from them. I'm not gonna say they're not my people because they are, but I believe in connecting with people that have shared interest and goals as you. And I know that that's a big goal that I have and I need to be around people that are doing the same because iron truly does sharpen iron. So I think I found that community. Pray on me, pray for me. Um, but I'm excited because I don't wanna stop my life and, and penny pinch and eat ramen noodles and get a bunch of side jobs to make this happen I, I live a life of luxury okay and luxury for me is being in my beautiful home i'm not giving this up I'm, i don't care <laughs> um luxury for me is traveling i'm not giving that up i may have to cut back on it but i'm not giving it up you know like because i could die tomorrow and i want to know that i was living my best life but i still want to make sure that i'm accomplishing my goals so that is a big goal of mine is to find my fire community find my people so that we can reach this goal of of making work optional um and when i say work i mean my corporate job because maximize money baby this thing gonna blow up i'm telling you like i'm telling you like i am onto something with this and I just love the feedback that I get from people and the community that I feel like I'm building is bigger than money for me. Like, yeah, I do want to make some money from this because I put a lot of energy and effort into it. But to hear the transformations, like when I get emails from people, people comment, tell me they bought their first house. They started investing in REITs like that gets me excited. It gets me pumped, you know. And, and it just reminds me that this is my calling, like this is my purpose and all the stuff that I went through led me to this, you know, and it's really being an encourager, you know, it's a certified financial educator, that's the title, but ultimately like I'm showing people that, you know, you are that girl, you are that guy and you can live a life of luxury and not go in debt over it. You can buy assets, like you can create your dream life and you can have the finances to make it happen. You know, I don't think you can live your dream life without finances, I'm sorry. Some people say, you know, well, God will bring it. No, he won't. I mean, he will, but like, you gotta have faith to do work that supports that dream life that you have. So like, that's really what my whole brand is about. That's why I feel like my topics are about stuff that are of interest to you guys like traveling you know passive income we're not trying to trade our time for money we don't want a bunch of side gigs we're not trying to drive lift i mean unless you want to that's cute for you that's just not what i subscribe to and that's not what my community is about we we make good money you know we just need to learn how to better manage it so that's my focus um it's joining a fire community with like-minded people uh five is to take my health serious and that's not to say that i don't take it serious because i've been looking 
I've been looking good lately. I ain't gonna hold y'all. My videos, my photos, not these, but like I have some other photos when I've just been hanging out. And I'll be like, girl, the scale is lying because you look good. Hey, you look good. But anyway, I also have medical bills. Um, I had a little health scare last year and I'm still paying for it. <laughs> Thankfully, everything was benign. There were no issues, but Healthcare is expensive in this country and my insurance didn't cover enough. So I had to cover the difference, unfortunately, and I'm still paying for that. And I just feel like I shouldn't have to. It just pisses me off thinking about it. But anyway, I'm thankful to have the money to do it and I should be in the clear um, in a couple of months with those medical bills. And that's why I've just been so more, much more adamant about monitoring what I eat. I feel like I've been drinking a lot lately. And I need to work on that. But I only drink on a weekend, but still, I need to kind of cut back on that. But I've been consuming a lot more fruits, a lot more vegetables. You know, I've been trying to limit, you know, anything that's super duper processed. I don't even do dairy like that because dairy don't agree with my stomach. Like, just trying to make small changes. Obviously, I'm consistent with my workouts and stuff. That's not the issue. I really just think it's the consumption of what I'm eating. And I feel like I really need to lose like 20 pounds because I also have fibroids. Oh, this is getting real deep. But most black women do. Like, most women of color do. Um, and I found that out last year too. So it's just like, Ugh. Now I gotta think about that. And my doctor was like, basically they're at a good size. So like, just don't maintain and monitor your weight, you know? Cause if you grow in size, they're gonna also grow in size. So that was the kick that I also needed to be like, okay girl, let's kick this into high gear and get our lives together. So thankfully one of my friends, shout out to you Shannon, if you watching, she's into holistic healing um, and holistic health. And she sent me so many different resources that have been very helpful. So um, yeah, health is wealth. And I knew that, but like, after all the times I went to the doctor last year, I said, mm, I'm not trying to be here. This is expensive, number one, and I don't want to be here. So I'm going to go get my annuals. But like beyond that, I, I will do what I need to do to make sure that I ain't got to be up in my doctor's office, okay? And then number six is that um, I want to help others, which I guess ties into all this other stuff. But like my personal goal is to help 50 women um, earn $500 in passive income within a year. You know, it's August, 2023 now. Um, and I have two women that I'm working with in particular that have specific passive income goals, but I wanna, I wanna increase that number to 50. So by August, 2024, like I would have helped 50 women earn $500 in passive income, you know, on a monthly basis. Like I'm so serious about that because the women that I'm talking to, my community, they are the, they the bomb, like good jobs, make good money, live good lives. They just don't know what to do with their money, you know? So at the end of paying all these bills, they don't have any. And it's just like, I don't want that for you. Like I want you to have money. So let's figure out where your money is going now and where you can readjust it so that you do make room for money to invest so that your investments can make you money while you continue to live your best life. So that's another personal goal that I have is to help 500, not 500, that's aggressive, but I know at some point my, my coach is gonna be like, yep, let's raise that to 500. But for now, we're good at 50. So um, help 50 women um, earn $500 in passive income monthly. So that's my next year, my, my year long goal. Um, so if you are interested in passive income um, and generating passive income, you can do that in two ways. Number one, I do have a REITs ebook, which is linked in the bio. If you don't know anything about real estate investment trust, which are REITs, then I'll link a video um, below where you can learn more about it. But the ebook will help you get started with um, your Fundrise account, which is my platform of choice for purchasing REITs. Um, and then also, if you want something a little more personalized, you wanna create an actual strategy together, I do offer one-on-one -on -one, um, personal finance slash passive income sessions where we'll focus on one goal. So if your one goal is to generate passive income, we'll talk about what we need to do to make that happen for you based on your lifestyle, based on the amount of money that you have, you know, so that we can work up to that. It's not gonna be an overnight process. It wasn't an overnight process for me. You are not gonna get rich quick working with me. I'm not rich. <laughs> So how am I gonna help you do something that I'm not, you know? But what I can do is help you set up processes and systems and a strategy that you can continue to maintain even after you get off the call with me. So 
those are my goals for this new year. Happy birthday to me. Um, it feels like a, a very purposeful year, a very intentional year. And I'm excited to see how God moves and, and how he moves within me so that I can serve others. Because really that's what my purpose and my passion is. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to contribute and give me a little birthday gift, I'll put my little cash app below as well. But if you can support me in any of those other ways, my ebook, you know, the one-on-one -on -one session, sharing my videos, like everything counts. Or if you just want to give the love offering, like I said, my cash app will be linked below. <laughs> if you want to cash up your girl, um, because she needs all the drinks today. She deserves, she me, her. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for your support over this, how long has it been? Over a year. Um, you've been rocking with me through my ups, through my downs. And I love y'all for that. So I will see you next week. Uh, and have a drink for me and send me some money before I can have a drink for myself on my birthday, okay? So Leo season, happy birthday to all my other fellow Leos. I love us for real. Everyone loves us. Even when they act like they hate us, they really secretly love us. They love our confidence and all of that. Don't let them tell you they don't because they do, okay? Um, so yeah, see you guys next week. Peace.